Evening, gentlemen. How are you? Not bad. All right. So today we're going to be doing a video game jigsaw puzzle based on the story of Alice in Wonderland. Sounds pretty rad. So cute little uh, graphics. Yeah. So you get 12 puzzles in total. And for each puzzle, you get to pick how many pieces you have for it from 30 all the way to like 700 and something. Um, <laughs> just to kind of start it off, I had my three year old sit with me the first time I played it to see if she would be interested at all. Yeah. And she was for about three seconds. And then she just didn't comprehend the idea of why is there not pieces that I can hold up to? <laughs> yeah, like puzzle games are interesting for that kind of thing. Like, I think the toughest part sometimes is the controls, and especially I'm thinking on a controller, it would be a little bit tougher. See, now they did do some nice things for controls here. Different buttons will sort pieces. For example, you can show just the edge pieces, which you can see right now. Each of the shoulder buttons will represent a different quarter, corner of the puzzle. So only you can grab, interact, and highlight the ones for that section. It really helps since you don't have an actual table to like say spread pieces around. Beyond yeah. that, you can hit the, the touchpad to reveal the picture below to give you a little bit of a help there. And you can click on one of the analog sticks to randomly shuffle all the pieces on the outside. And then beyond that, you also have just like a, you can zoom in, zoom out, and move around a little bit. Pretty okay. useful. I imagine that would be helpful for doing something like this. Yeah, the only thing that I found to be a little bit, um, using the analog stick to move the pieces around, it's not as precise as you would like to like it to be. It's fine for the bigger piece puzzles, but when you get to like the 700, it can be a little bit imprecise, but that just takes some getting used to, so to speak. Yeah, there's something to be said about maybe even like mouse and keyboard for something like this, or of course, like, of course, we're going to think about it, actually doing a puzzle, right? Like, You're a hundred percent, because when I was playing this, I was just thinking, like, with that precision um, comment that I made, a, a mouse would alleviate that entire thing. That being said, I think that for something that's on a console, they did the best they could. Yeah, yeah, for sure. I do like that you can uh, join the pieces and then move them because that's very much like what you were doing with that three piece thing. That's very much what I would do with a normal puzzle. Absolutely. Yes. And versus a normal puzzle, you do have the benefit that if you let go of the button, because you have to hold the button to move the piece. If you let go of it and it is like pretty close, it will it kind of yeah. snap into place and then you can't interact with it again. So you know that it's in the right place when it's no longer interactable. Okay. Yeah. Now, when you finish the puzzle, you get a little bit of movement. And this is where the Alice in Wonderland uh, jigsaw puzzle story part comes in. It has like two lines of story and then you move on to the next puzzle. So I feel like the story part was poorly emphasized <laughs> yeah it at the moment at least it does seem like it's something very much meant for children almost like an educational style game more than a regular game um i mean obviously i think that that's a benefit that you get with having the option for how many pieces you have because obviously with something like this she was able to sit with me for a few seconds and say oh i think that piece goes there but when you get to something bigger, I don't know if kids would necessarily have the patience without having the actual pieces there in front of them. 700 pieces yeah. is pretty tough for even kids. <laughs> oh, yeah. like, here you go. Yeah, this is... Uh, uh, so I've actually completed uh, six of the 12 puzzles in the 700 piece um, size. I imagine that took a while to do. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it does take a while. I would say that each puzzle I completed probably took me a little over an hour. Now, At least it's got play for those who like this style of game. Yeah, I would generally prefer to have like the pieces because you do have that tactile part to it. But on the other hand, you're not going to lose any pieces doing it this way. 
and you don't have like the cleanup or the space requirement of like taking a table out or whatever. So that's kind of like a benefit. I mean, I do like the idea here that this game is six ninety nine Canadian, mm-hmm. and you get twelve puzzles that you can vary the piece count for. So versus like an actual puzzle, which I do think is better, you know, sitting at a table with all the pieces spread out in front of you, um, you do get a lot more than you would for $6. Like $6 is not going to get you a puzzle these days. <laughs> it might get you like one of the very small puzzles, but no, you're going to be paying like 20, 30 bucks for a 700 piece puzzle. That's any good. And I do like the idea of something like this. If they do it, maybe not this one because they very much specifically did it Alice in Wonderland, but if they did it, like say those pinball machine ones where you, you get the game and then later you can get cheap DLCs to say, add different kinds of puzzles, different themes, different stories to expand on it for an even lower price because you've already done that initial price. Um, that being said, I don't think there's anything else new that I can present to you guys. So we come down to the question, would you continue after the first opinion? I got to say, if I was doing this on console, maybe not. If it was on PC, I probably would actually. I think the mouse controls would make it a lot quicker, a lot easier for me. Alex? Yeah, I think if like I was in the mood for Jigsaw Puzzles, maybe I'd consider it. I This is the kind of game I probably would pick up, but it would be on PC for sure that I would prefer it. And maybe not exactly this one, but something similar. I'd consider okay. it. I actually am surprised how much I enjoyed this, and I've been using this as a wind-down game. It's great at the end of the day to just do something relaxing, peaceful for a little bit. So I will definitely continue and keep playing it. So uh, Two no's and, and a yes. Hey, did you like that video? If you did, be sure to let us know by clicking the like button and leaving a comment. If you want to be first in line for any new content, be sure to subscribe to our channel and then hit up our Facebook page. The link's in the description below to see what's coming up next.